Have you ever wondered what really happens inside the body when someone suddenly loses control of their bladder? The pathophysiology of urinary incontinence explains that story in detail. Normally, the bladder, brain, and urethral sphincter work together in perfect coordination. The detrusor muscle of the bladder stores urine and remains relaxed, while the urethral sphincter stays tightly closed until the brain signals that it's time to void, when it's appropriate to urinate. The brain sends messages through the spinal cord to contract the detrusor muscle and relax the sphincter, allowing urine to flow out smoothly. But in urinary incontinence, this fine control system breaks down. In stress incontinence, the pelvic floor muscles and sphincter become weak, often due to childbirth, obesity, or aging. As a result, any sudden pressure like coughing, sneezing, or lifting forces urine out involuntarily. In urge incontinence, the bladder muscles become overactive or hypersensitive. They contract suddenly, sending an urgent need to urinate even when the bladder isn't full. This type is often linked to nerve damage, infections, or neurological disorders, such as Parkinson's or stroke. Then comes overflow incontinence, which happens when the bladder cannot empty completely. This could be due to an obstruction, like an enlarged prostate in men or weakened bladder muscles in diabetics, causing constant dribbling as the bladder overfills. Functional incontinence, on the other hand, a dozen. T result from a bladder problem itself, but from physical or cognitive limitations that prevent reaching the toilet in time. In short, urinary incontinence occurs when the communication between the brain, spinal cord, and bladder muscles is disrupted or when the muscles responsible for control lose their strength. This imbalance leads to involuntary leakage, loss of bladder control, and emotional distress. Understanding this pathophysiology helps nurses and doctors not only identify the underlying cause, but also plan effective, patient-specific interventions to restore dignity and confidence.